Hello, my name is Dale Wilkai. I'm in Montrose, Colorado at the moment. Uh, if you want to find out anything about me, go to MySpace where I have a page. This here deals with these uh, dirty p uh, pimps. First of all, let me make it very clear that pimps should be on the same footing and be given the same equality as people who owned slaves back before the Civil War and those who still own slaves around the world because slavery still isn't uh, a dead uh, profession, unfortunately. That's what these pimps are. They're slave masters, what I call them. They're no, they're no better and just as bad as any person that owned, that once owned slaves here in America or in the world for that matter. I know there was a time uh, hundreds of years ago and thousands of years ago that slavery was a very common thing, but it didn't make it right. That might have been the way of life in, under the old Roman Empire and other um, empires, like the uh, Persian Empire. Uh, it is about any empire, Greek empire, any of them. Uh, it's still wrong to own another human being. And that's what pimps do. They own but primarily women. They beat them when they don't produce, bring up enough money, or if they think they're being cheated, then some die. And yet, we live in a society here in America where we say we hate uh, racism and sexism, and we always act like we're holier than thou when it comes to uh, slavery. You know, and a lot of Southerners still suffer from being accused of their, you know, their parents or grandparents, well, actually the great-great-grandparents, you know, owning slaves or their parents or grandparents were involved in, you know, racism in the South, even though there's a lot of it in the North, always has been. Um, it's still amazing that in America today, we do not equate pimps or put them at the same level as we do people who did once own slaves. It's as simple as that, and we should. Pimps should be given a minimum of 10 years without parole in prison for owning another human being than for being a pimp. This is a filthy, dirty business. I don't care if these women are willing or not. It makes no difference to me. It makes no difference. It shouldn't make any difference to any of us. They are putting themselves in danger. They do get beaten, and some get murdered. Some get disfigured. Some are just, you know, they end up just being nothing but trash, and or that's how they feel like it, even though they're not trash. Because I agree with a lot of the militant feminists, are not really militant feminists, just women in general, that, you know, men who uh, fool around with these prostitutes can't, are, are certainly no better. And they and these men that uh, engage in prostitution ought to be uh, put in prison for a little while, too, and should be humiliated before the world. But what I'm asking is that if you believe as I do, that these pimps are no better than people who once owned slaves, then you ought to contact your congressional representative and ask them to pass a law to state just that fact, that they believe that this is, that pimps are no better than people who once owned slaves, and they ought to, they belong in prison. Not for 30 days, not for 60 days, not for 90 days, but for at least 10 years. This is a, this is a crime that's just as bad as owning a slave. I don't know how else to say it. It's just as bad. And it needs to stop. And if the and I'm surprised that the women of America haven't don't really give a bleep about it. You know, if you make your voices heard, they're going to start listening in in Washington. You know, women can get more done nowadays than we men can. And if and if women all get together and say we want this stop, even though men should be involved in it too, this will stop. And these pimps should be again. Put on the same level as somebody that owns a slave. If we find someone owns another human being here in America, usually we nail them to the wall. Well, why are not pimps nailed to the wall? The vice squad, instead of just going out and trying to bust a few Johns and a few prostitutes, why don't they go out there and go after these pimps and put these guys out of business once and for all? And from what I understand, there's some lady pimps too out there, maybe. I know there's these madams and stuff with these houses and brothels and stuff. Well, unfortunately, that's legal. But I'm talking about those who work the streets. These pimps need to be gone after. And I've watched a lot of these cop shows about, you know, Vice and going after the, primarily the Johns and stuff like that. Well, why not go after the pimps? Why not make their, their profession a very rare and very dangerous one so that uh, getting into it is just a really, really dumb idea because it's just not really worth it. And right now, our society and our laws don't address this very well. And it needs to address it now. And put a stop to this. When I lived in Las Vegas, I, I came across a few of these pimps from time to time. These are some real sleeve buckets. And they look at their women as nothing but trash. 
That's all they look at them as. They don't look at them as human beings. They're nothing but trash to them. And they're no better than those who once owned slaves. So you ought to contact your congressional representative and ask them to start uh, put to put a stop to this and to start demanding that law enforcement, the FBI, all of these people go after this scum and lock them away where they belong. There is no difference between a pimp and somebody that owns another human being. There's no difference. It's evil, it's wrong, and it's, and it's just... It's just pure evil. It's the only way I know how to say it. Thank you for your time, and I hope you will uh, do something. If more people would do something, things like this would come to an end. But pimps belong in jail. There's no other way to put it. The people, I believe that people who are a threat to society are the ones that belong in jail, not people who are, you know, we, I, I will admit, we arrest way too many people in this America, and I'm not in favor of that. I'm just in favor of arresting people who are a threat to society, like murderers, rapists, stalkers, you know, child molesters, pedophiles, you know, uh, people like that. People who have committed small petty crimes, you know, can be given fines or given something else, you know, where prisons are too filled up. But pimps belong in prison. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. They are a threat to society. They own other people, and apparently they're not going to stop until they get a good lesson. And, if, and again, 10 years minimum, that might deter them. They do it again after they get out, put them in for life, because it is wrong to own another human being, period. And what they do to these girls is just uh, pure evil. It's wrong. Our society should stop looking the other way, and we ought to stop it now. Thank you for your time.